So before we start rope today, I need you to make sure that you have enough space beside you. A good backyard is a good location or a school field. That's also a good option or maybe a, a gymnasium, a recreational center. They have great facilities that accommodate to the rope. Alrighty, let's get started with rope. To make sure a rope fits you, I want you to step on it with one foot and make sure that your knots where you hold the rope are close to your armpits. That's how you make sure that a rope fits you. Perfect. So now once you have your rope ready, let's get started. So first let's learn how to hold it properly. I put my hand out with my palm facing the sky and I put my rope in my palm. The knot should be opposite to my thumb. And we repeat with the other hand. There we go. If you stretch your elbows out, I want you to make a nice smiley face position and we're going to do gentle rocks back and forth. Feel the weight of the rope. There you go. If you'd like to spice it up a little bit, let's practice a twist. So you take one foot out, put it in front of the other, and you turn all the way around. So now let's try it with a rope. You take that foot out, you cross right in front. And I want you to sweep your arms up and over it like you're trying to make a rainbow with your rope. Up and over. Good work. Let's try again. Out to the side, cross over, keep that smiley face position, and let's bring the rainbow up and over. There you go, good work. So we have our first rainbow. The next thing we can do, you can put your knots together in one hand. So this one's fun. I call this helicopter. You're gonna imagine you're mixing a big bowl. Can you practice mixing a big bowl with me? Big old bowl. Now we're gonna try and do the exact same thing, but with a rope in our hand. Good work. Next, I want you to try and mix a smaller bowl. Let's see what happens to the rope. Small bowl. And there you go, you have a helicopter. You can rotate in or out. It's up to you. I keep it all in the wrist. So imagine you're mixing a little bowl. Mix, 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 mix. Mix, 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 mix. Beautiful, good work. Let's try the other way. Mix, 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 mix. Good work. Awesome. So now let's try Cat's Cradle. Cat's Cradle starts like this. This is what it will look like. Now let's do it together. Alrighty. So how I do this is I cross my left hand, my left, over my right. Then I bend my elbows and I bring this rope up and I tuck it under like I'm making a knot. And I stretch my elbows. There you go, a cat's cradle. Let's try that again. I know it's a bit tricky. So we're gonna take our left hand cross it over our right. Then we bend the elbow and we bring this arm through like so and we stretch our elbows. Boom! You got a cat's cradle. How cool is that? We can also try that with our rope unfolded. So let's try that again. Our left arm goes over top of our right you bring that arm back under. Let's make our knot, make a big loop. And let's straighten our elbows. Look, we got a big cat's cradle.
Good work. Now to get out of this, you bring your wrists together and you pull the rope up. Let's try that again. Left over, left under, and straight. Bring your arms together and straight. There you go. That's a cat's cradle. While we have our rope in this position, let's try rotations. So a rotation looks like this. Preferably keep your elbows straight and make sure you have enough space around you. Awesome. So you can do rotations to the front, to the side, to the back, on top, below there's so many options so today let's start with a simple rotations beside us so i start with my rope folded in two and i push that bottom forwards and up there we go there's your rotations so what we're doing here we're keeping our elbow as straight as possible and imagine we're painting these little circles with your wrist. So if you have a paintbrush, you would be painting little circles. Let's try again. You push up like a rainbow and little circles backwards. There we go. Let's try the other hand. There we go. Keep your elbow straight. Keep those little circles going. You can go fast and you can go slow. It's up to you. Awesome. So now that we have it mastered beside us, let's try in front. So the same thing, but I'm drawing little circles in front of me. Good work. Can you try the other hand? Good work. Yeah, there we go. Keep those elbows straight and those rotations moving. You can also do rotations above your head. And I look like a human helicopter. Woo! Can you try your other hand? Let's try the other way. So this way you're painting little circles on top of you, drawing little circles in the sky. Good work. Awesome. So next thing we're gonna do is skipping. I like to straighten my rope. And to skip, you wanna jump over the rope as it comes in front. So I know this is a bit hard, so we're gonna try nice and slow. So when your rope's on the floor, I want you to step over it and bring your rope in front of you. That's a skip. And then as soon as we keep practicing this, it will get easier and faster. So you can go skip and skip. Any time where it's touching the ground, I want you to jump and try and move that rope underneath of you. Let's try again. Skip, 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 skip. Good work. So next I'm gonna teach you a pull-up, a gymnastics pull-up, don't worry. I start with my rope out in front of me. And to do a pull up, I bring my arm up and I pull it back slightly. Up, back. Let's walk over that one more time. So that's how you, you see it. We're gonna pull this arm up and back. I would say just about shoulder height. Keep trying. That's a pull up. Let's try again. Arm out in front of you and lift. Good work, let's try again. You have your rope, I lay it out beside me. I turn to it, I lift my hand up, and I catch. Good work, let's try that again. And pull up. Good work, let's try one more time. Out in front of you, arm to the side, and there you go. That's a pull-up. 
The next thing I'm gonna teach you is called the invisible chain. Super snazzy. So the way that I start, you have one rope on the ground and the other hand in your hand. I make a loop. I stick my hand through the loop and I grab the rope and I pull up and I made a new loop. So I'm gonna stick my hand through that loop, go through and I pull it up and I'm gonna repeat that. So you have a loop, you stick your hand through, you grab the other rope and you pull up. Let's try again. Hand through the hole, you grab the rope and you pull up. Good work, so you see this? It's a rope, it's a chain. But watch this. It's an invisible chain. Let's try that again. So we start with one hand. We make a circle, a big loop. Stick our hand through the loop. Pick it up. There we go. And up. And up. And up. Look, it's an invisible chain. Ta-da! That's my favorite magic trick. I think you should give it a try. One more time. Loop. Hand through the loop. Grab the rope and you pull it up. Through the loop, grab the rope, pull it up. Through the loop, grab the rope, pull it up. Through the loop, grab the rope, pull it up. Ta-da! You can put your knee in the middle. You grab either knot and you stretch. Good work. There you go. Magic. You can also play around with the rope. This is a good chance to just experiment and see what you can do. Alrighty, another rope trick we can try is putting one arm down at our waist and one out at the side. You're gonna wrap that rope all the way around you. Oh, you're tied. And you can unwrap. Can you try the other side? And wrap all the way around you. And you can unwrap. It's like another magic trick. Let's try again. Left hand down at your hip. Right hand up and do some circles. Ta-da! And unwrap. Other way. Right hand to left hip. And circle, circle, circle. Good work. There you go. Let's try one quick more advanced skill. So this one's a bit trickier, so make sure that you have enough space beside you. I start with one arm out in front of me and I fold over. That's where we start, okay? Fold over, release. And in the air, I do two quick circles. So those circles that we were doing in the rotations, like so, I want you to repeat them. Under, over, and this is where you let go. And you do two rotations. It's really hard to slow down, so let's give it a try. Under, rotation, rotation, catch. You can try and catch with your other hand as well. Let's try again. Under, over, rotation, rotation, catch. So make sure you're doing those two little circles. Let's try one more time. Let's go under, over, let go, two rotations, catch. Good work. Awesome. And that's how you do a more advanced skill. Here's an example of some more advanced skills that you can learn with the mastery of the basics of rope. I call this one cowboy. Ta-da! Another one can be releases behind. There you go. Another one I call this the skip. Ta-da! 
ta-da, or rotations on either side. Good work. So that's it for today's rope skills. But if you'd like to look, learn more, subscribe and comment below.